and the whole a uh, lot of lot of times um, to me I did not even know the name of those games we will show a few of them um, that I that they existed of that you really introducing new games that are very easily to to do at home or in schools and daycare centers there are a lot of games to play and I want to show <laughs> a particular fun thing that we put in that poster here it might be a little bit hard to see but if you look on the river we have, of course have the canoes and the kayaks and on Sunday the river is full of them because people rent them mm -hmm. uh, both up near the Harvard Stadium and it's now possible also to rent them on, on Broad Canal in Kendall Square there's now a rental I place also that. brand new oh, fantastic. and but um, we had the artist also um, depict um, paddle boards it's of the official name is a SUP a stand up paddle board <laughs> and um, it's a lot of fun I just learned that the other day and um, it's kind of a mixture of walking on water and being a gondolier well, we always want to walk on water. Exactly. That's fantastic. Who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, of course. So, I mean, um, you know, you would think, oh, at all the games, all the sports have already been invented, but there are always new things that come in this particular um, sport. It's very easy to learn, and it comes from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's what the surfers do when, they are, when there's no waves, no surf day. They train. It's it's wonderful for your core. It's wonderful for your balance, and it feels great. The legs don't fall asleep. So <laughs> I can't imagine they would on that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in a way, it, it's wonderful to kind of see um, that there are so many new options out there for um, for physical activities. So there's still invention inventions to be made. And oh yeah, whether it's kicking or throwing or hitting or scooting or yeah, there are so many different types of ways to use your body with athletics and, and you're right, things are constantly being invented. Yeah. It's wonderful. Now here it is a game. Um, explain this game to us. That's a, to me, I had never seen that this before. This is a great one. Uh, so you see the gentleman with his arm extended and he's actually throwing what they call bolos. It's uh, two golf balls on a short string and uh, he's trying to get it around the ladder ball uh, or the, the, uh, which is that apparatus to the left. Um, and the rungs, like a ladder, they are different point values. So the top one is one point, and the second one down is uh, two points, and the bottom one is three. And uh, a lot of people recognize this game as being played at tailgating uh, events wow. uh, in college. So it's a, it's a great game for college uh, during tailgating of the football season. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's wonderful. And now seeing parents playing with their children, it, it's a bit of a skill to this. And yes, you have to try to wrap it around, and uh, it's great seeing parents and children again playing together and having fun and laughing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think we have here another another picture here again with the the the, the balls and the parents watching. And um, I also want you not only to invite you to um, to come um, on Sunday. It's between two and five between the Weeksbridge and the Weld Boathouse to come to the Parklands. And, and, and it's every Sunday until August 30th, right? Uh, until the end of August. Yeah. Uh, I also, um, coming back again to that picture, uh, you might also recognize that site as the place where Riversing takes place. Riversing is the celebration of the beginning of fall. And uh, the Charles River Conservancy has done that for five years with Rebels. And Rebels continues to do that again on the 20th of September, Sunday evening, so uh, a place that in the afternoon it's games and then Sunday evening will be singing. So it's a, a real place of joy of, of different family activities. That's bad. And that river sings on the bridge, correct? Well, the or people stand on the on the shoreline. Um, on the, really, this, this, what we see here is oh, covered with oh. over 5,000 people singing. People have music, and um, so you sing onto the water. Yeah. So, but now, um, Mitch, I'd like uh, you to tell us that that's how you could we can people can contact you if they um, want to to have a party or find right. out more about about the games. You know, it's just it's if anybody wants to play for any sort of reason, any time of year, any location, um, that's our website, of course, knucklebones.us. And uh, we always tailor it to the client. We go to the client. 
and that's yeah. one, one thing about us. Good. And, and what's missing here, unfortunately it's cut off, it's the For the Love of Play. That is your logo and, and I think exactly. it's, it's a wonderful logo. Well, what a better inspiration for a company than For the Love of Play. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I also um, want to recognize the Boston Foundation um, that makes it possible for the Charles River Conservancy to bring those po programs. And um, it's important that we um, realize that all these efforts, being it the volunteer programs or um, these games, they all need their funding. Mm -hmm. And the Charles River Conservancy is funded um, about 40% by foundations, but mostly by individuals. So um, if you're not a member, I hope that you will become a member. And, and here is how you can find us on the internet, the charles.org and our phone number. And I hope that you will um, watch out for what we do. Um, we are also um, working on the pathways where people bike and inline skate and are active because mm -hmm. that is our mission to make the parklands active. And we have resurfaced some of the pathways on the southern shore of the Charles. And um, Cambridge gets some new um, pathways now with some economic stimulus money from the state. So a lot of things are happening along the parklands. And um, I want to thank you, Mitch, for coming in today and for your wonderful work you're doing on the parklands every Sunday and for making kids love <laughs> to play. And parents, of course. Yeah. No, well, thank you, Renata, and it was a pleasure being here. And you know, I look forward to seeing you and, and everybody out there You know, every Sunday from 2 to 5 till uh, August uh, 30th. Great. So thank you. All right.